Hey! Hey, okay, you know why we're here. We're gonna watch the trailer for Book of Boba Fett. I've seen all the Star Wars. I like them. There are a lot more other universes that I like better. I have seen Mandalorian, and when I watched that, I was extremely surprised because I didn't think I was gonna like it. I love that show, so I'm hoping that Book of Boba Fett can do the same exact thing for me again and just make me love it. So we're gonna jump right into the trailer now because I don't wanna wait any longer. <laughs> It looks good already, like just aesthetically very pleasing. I am not a bounty hunter. Mandalorian looked good, so I knew this would. I've heard otherwise. I know that you sit on the throne of your former employer. Jabba ruled with fear. Ooh. Ooh. I intend to rule with respect. <laughs> was she in Mandalorian at one point? Or maybe she was in another Star Wars movie at one point. She looks familiar. I'm here to make a proposal that's mutually beneficial. Why speak of conflict? When cooperation can make us all rich. What prevents us all from killing you and taking what we want? If you had spoken such insolence to Java, he'd have fed you to his menagerie. Please. Speak freely. Yes, he's in control now. Ugh. Did we get... This looks really good. December 29th? I thought this was coming 2022. And I know December 29th is literally like, what, two days before 2022? But for some reason, I didn't think we were going to get this until like February or something. I don't know why. I didn't know we're getting it that soon. I don't know if I'm being 100% accurate with this, but I'm pretty sure it may have been in the end credit scenes of the last season of Mandalorian where we see... Uh, God, I want to be more confident about this, but I don't want to Google. I just want to get this from memory. But I'm pretty sure in Mandalorian, um, we do meet Boba Fett. Okay, so he gets his armor back and then he leaves. And I'm pretty sure in the end credit scene of season two of Mandalorian, I think we're in season two, um, I'm pretty sure that we see Boba Fett walking into Jabba the Hutt's house, but that other guy's there, that guy with the long, I want to say hair, but I don't know if those are considered hair. I think it's that guy. I'm doing this as if you know exactly what I'm talking about. And he goes in there and he kills him and he sits in the throne and he is taking the throne now. So I'm pretty sure that's the last time we've seen him. So that's what this is going to follow his reign doing whatever. And I am so excited for it. So I'm pretty sure we just see that, that girl that I'm like, oh my God, I saw her in something. I think she was all also in Mandalorian. I'm pretty sure a bunch of people will correct me if I'm wrong and that's really cool because I don't exactly know so educate me. <laughs> so it's gonna follow them. Oh my god this again I'm ext way more excited about this than I thought I was going to be but it looks so good. I like the original series of um, Star Wars the old ones or whatever. But yeah, I like those ones and I know it's costumes and not CGI and I like that look. I like it a lot. But then you get through like Star Wars and you get the Anakin versions with Hayden Christensen and you see their CGI and you're like, okay, this looks good. This is fine. We're good. But then you get to this and you're like, yes, I feel like that's the look when they made the original Star Wars movies. In their mind, they have the look of what like Mandalorian and what the Book of Boba Fett has now. Like that's what they envisioned. Of course, back then we didn't have the technology. So we got like the puppets and animatronics and things like that, which looks great. <laughs> looks a hell of a lot better than the mid CGI that we got. That's what we got because that's what they could do. If they had today's technology, they would have used what we see now. And I think it looks great. 
I still like when they use like practical effects and puppets and things like that when they can work it in and then just use CGI to like supplement it and elevate it. This, but this looks good. I have no issues with how this is looking so far. I'm excited to learn about the story. Actually, I have so many questions just about Boba Fett. The movie with he, where he has his mini son. What happened to that kid? Is he that kid? Or did that kid die? Did I miss it? That's just something I kind of wanted to know. I don't want to Google it. So you guys can let me know if you want to. I'm excited for this. I'm going to watch it December 29th. I'm not sure for this one if I'll do reactions on my channel for it like I'm doing for Chucky right now and I'm also going to do for Hawkeye. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it for the Book of Boba only because I just feel weird reacting to things and I'm like man I know nothing about this show where it's held in such a high regard of like the Star Wars universe where there's like hundreds of thousands of millions of fans and I just feel like when I say the wrong things I'm gonna get attacked for it so I'm not a hundred percent sure if I'm gonna do this one because I just don't want to mess it up for anybody and I just don't want people to be like she's talking about stuff she doesn't know because of course I don't know anything about it but I still want to learn I still want to watch it so I'm not sure if I'm gonna react to that one who knows whatever I'll find out more down the road but let me know what you guys thought about this trailer. I think it was great. I'm really excited for it. December 29th on D+. Yes, let me know what you guys think about it down below. Bye!